Ectoplasm is a physical manifestation of the spiritual world. It is said to be a supernatural substance that exudes from the body during a seance. There have been many reports of ectoplasm, but is it real? Some say yes, it is real and is a sign of otherworldly activity. Others say no, it is a hoax created by fraudulent mediums. The truth may never be known, but ectoplasm remains an intriguing phenomenon. Let's have a closer look at what it is then try and determine if it is actually real. Ectoplasm is a supernatural, psychokinetic substance which is said to emanate from the physical body of spiritualists and mediums during seances. It is said to be a whitish or grayish viscous substance which can be formed by spiritual mediums when they are in a trance state. The term ectoplasm was coined in 1894 by British physicist Sir William Crookes who observed the substance during seances with mediums. The word is derived from the Greek words ectos or outside and plasma or substance. Several photographs taken in allegedly haunted locations have shown what appear to be ghosts surrounded by an eerie haze or vapor. Some suggest these images may actually show ectoplasmic residue left behind by an apparition after it has departed this world for its next destination. You've probably heard of seances, but you might not know why people would host them. Most people are familiar with seances as a form of spiritualism that involves the practice of attempting to contact the spirits of the dead. They were often conducted in private homes by mediums who claimed to be able to speak with the dead. The two most common forms were table tipping and Ouija boards. People did seances because they wanted to communicate with the dead. They believed that it was possible to communicate with the dead, and that if you did it through a seance you could get information from them. A seance was a gathering of people who sat around a table and tried to talk to spirits. The table would be in front of a curtain or cloth and would be lit by candles. People would sit around the table and place their hands on top of each other. The person leading the ritual would then ask questions about what the spirit wanted to say or reveal about itself. This ritual has been practiced for hundreds if not thousands of years, but was popularized in Europe during the 1800s when spiritualism became popularized as well. People did seances for many reasons, but one of the most common was because they wanted to contact a loved one who had died. This could be because they were grieving and wanted closure from seeing their loved one again, or because they simply missed that person so much that they wanted to see them again. But we have to ask, is ectoplasm actually a hoax? Ectoplasm is thought to be a substance that allows spirits to materialize in the physical world, and it is composed of matter that is neither physical nor spiritual. However, most scientists agree that ectoplasm is not real. Science has proven that it cannot exist because it contradicts the laws of physics. In addition, there are no known cases where ectoplasm has been scientifically proven to exist. Ectoplasm has been used as evidence for paranormal phenomena since its discovery in 1894. However, it has never been proven to exist or be produced under controlled conditions. The question you must ask yourself is why are mediums not producing it today? For more on the paranormal, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.